I think all players at this point kind of understand that free to play players should eventually strive to have at least one competitive army for each troop type. So a meta pair of commanders for infantry, archers, and cavalry. But eventually you may find yourself in a position where you can start to branch off into a fourth or maybe even a fifth army. And when that time comes, you have to ask yourself, do you want to shift the balance a little bit more towards infantry armies or towards cavalry armies or towards archer armies? And effectively you would become sort of a main of that troop type. You would be focusing more on Cavs, infantry or archers respectively and thus you would probably train more of that troop type you would probably focus more on getting certain equipment of that troop type you would maybe focus more on switching your civilization or maybe getting your hands on certain city skins and so in this video i want to go over what i think is currently the best troop type to focus on for free-to-play players who have reached the end game right because making that distinction is very important because i think in the early game i think infantry does perform pretty well i mean charles Martel as a gold key commander pairing him with Richard kvk1 you've got a really solid tank in kvk2 you have Alexander the Great he's very powerful he's very fast and I'm not saying that there's not other really powerful early game commanders of other troop types obviously we have YSG he's tried and true and also if you're spending a little bit of money you're gonna be able to get your hands on Minamoto who really does pop off in the early game for cavalry so while the different troop types have different strengths at different points in time what I'm gonna talk about today is late game end game season of of conquest which is the best troop type to focus on for free to play players and the last time I talked about this was in early May of 2023 and in that time we've gotten Zhuge Liang, Kuo, Gorgo, Liu Che, Herman Prime, Ashurbanipal and we're probably about two months away from a new cavalry release so I think this video is long overdue but before we jump in of course what's going on guys cheers about 69 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so make sure you go down there and just double check make sure you're sub and drop a thumbs up on the video if you appreciate it okay how do you even determine the best troop type well there's a couple of things to consider first of all what troop type has the best stats which troop type has the best effective civilization what troop type has the most meta commanders for the open field and which troop type has the best equipment or easiest to obtain equipment for their best in slot gear and then also there's a couple of other things to consider that we're going to talk about later in the video so let's start off with the statistics okay if you take a look at the stats here for cavalry infantry and archers and even for siege units you're going to find that actually all the stats are very very similar when you're talking about the base units okay so the base royal guard has the has similar base stats to the royal crossbowmen right we have 220 attack 216 defense 212 health we come over here to the infantry 220 attack 212 defense 216 health so the t5 archers have more defense the t5 infantry have more health and tier 5 cavalry also have 220 attack 212 defense and 216 health okay so what's the difference between all three of these from a stats perspective well really there's not one unless you have a special unit or if you consider load and march speed obviously we know that cavalry have the highest march speed in the game followed by archers coming in second place with a base of 70 and then we see finally infantry come in with a base march speed of 65. so infantry are the slowest and technically have the lowest stats unless you value load which of course you're never going to really use these units to gather anything in the open field you're going to be using your siege exclusively for that so if we ignore load completely then we see that cavalry definitely wins the best stats perspective they're literally faster than any other troop type all else things equal so then we take a look at these civilizations and some of these civilizations are much better for late game pvp than others for example japan is an absolute joke when it comes to late game pvp but if you're running a farm account it's actually probably the best thing that you can do because you have the really good resource gathering and i think if you guys have watched my other videos you would know that there's two civilizations that a lot of players use for late game pvp the first being the ottoman empire and the second being france and this is for two different reasons first of all france is great especially for infantry mains because they have the throwing axemen which i believe gives them the highest highest base health which is confusing the players because you get three percent health here but you get five percent health on Greece except for the fact that the special units themselves 
have less health in total than the throwing axemen and so therefore throwing axemen actually have the highest health in the game as far as i know and also you have a really nice hospital healing speed if you don't have the appropriate vip level this does come in clutch which is quite nice also the health here is universal so if you do run multiple troop types which i said at the beginning of this video you should be doing this buff will apply to all of your armies not just your infantry so really nice stuff here but the ottoman empire has two extremely important things to consider first of all skill damage five percent skill damage that is amazing i mean there's so many commanders in the game that are meta that are focused on skill damage only exceptions being the smite damage commanders and there's only really like one or two of them that you care about also march speed we talk about march speed and how important that is and having five percent more in march speed across all of your different troop types is incredible plus you also get a little bit of a bonus here to your archers you get archer health and a special unit which is nice so even if you're running mostly calves or mostly infantry you still can consider and oftentimes will consider running the ottoman empire just because of the skill damage and march speed it's that good so while cavalry was the clear winner in the stats perspective having the highest march speed when it comes to best civilization i would say archers are in first place and infantry are in second place now later in the video i'm gonna touch again on civilizations for just a brief moment so definitely stay tuned till that but here we can see that cavalry comes in last place when it comes to having a good civilization with a good special unit so then we have to take a look at commanders which troop type has the most meta commander pairings in the open field at the time of recording this video well if you guys have been following my channel for a while then you're going to know that there's a couple of s plus tier commanders for each of the troop types and of course those commanders are nevsky joan Scipio prime huo liu che Zhuge Liang, herman prime and actually now that i think about it when it comes to s plus i would say this is probably it and this is in no particular order by the way i'm not saying Huo was better than liu che okay honestly you could probably put liu che up here and i would be more acceptable of that same thing with like Zhuge Liang. but the actual order here is irrelevant i'm not going to argue about that with people it doesn't really matter we can all agree that these are like typically found in the best open field marches in rise of kingdoms now we see lots of commanders here from different troop types we have two infantry two archers and three cavalry okay i do think that there are some other commanders that we have to consider such as william of course and guan yu i think these are both exceptionally good commanders and also Boudicca prime gorgo and for being honest let's put alex up here a little bit i think alex has seen a little bit of uh teeny tiny amounts of comeback you could probably put uh xy in here as well so okay which of the troop types do we think wins the best armies right if we look at what pairs can we make with these commanders we have two solid choices when it comes to open field armies for infantry you're gonna run Liu Che with either Alex or Gorgo and then you'll run the Guan CPO Guan CPO again still very good in 2024 shockingly good honestly considering how old Guan Yu is and then for cavalry you would run your Nevsky with Joan and your Huo with William and then when it comes to archers you would obviously run a Zhuge Liang with Herman and then Boudicca I mean you'd have to reach into the bucket and pull out another commander that I think isn't necessarily on the same caliber here so when when it comes to open field commanders and the number of those armies that i think are competitive right now i think infantry and cavalry we can say have a tie in my opinion that's my opinion some people can disagree i think archers are just just slightly lagging behind here not to say that you can't build two good archer armies again i'm not saying that but if i were to rate these i would say that infantry gets an a cavalry gets an a and archers an a and an a minus right like it's it's so close here so i'm gonna say this is a tie between infantry and cavalry i want to give infantry the slight edge because i don't think cavalry has a commander that hits as hard as liu che can but we're going to talk more about commanders again later in the video so here just to be fair i'm going to say infantry and calves are a tie with archers coming in just lagging behind slightly in third place okay just to recap so far cavalry has won the stats department archers have won the civilization department with infantry coming in a really close second and infantry and calves have tied for best commander pairing so now let's talk about the equipment here and one thing that i will say is that if you're a mega whale then a lot of this video really doesn't apply to you because you really can max the best of the best commanders you can get the best of the best equipment which is why the title of this video has something to do with free to play okay so please bear with me I'm really trying to make this as easy to understand as possible so what are we going to look at here when it comes to equipment to determine what 
troop type has the best equipment well we have to look at how easy is it to build a competitive sort of best in slot or an adjacent best in slot set for each of these troop types and if we look at the weapons to start with i think everybody knows that the gatekeeper shield with a special talent for infantry is actually a really good budget build and you can use this in season of conquest it's not best in slot of course eventually you will want to upgrade to one of the legendary weapons here because the iconic system is very prominent and the longer time goes on the more important it will be to have a legendary in every single slot but transitioning from early game to late game at gatekeeper shield like the value here is just unbelievable especially considering that the purple weapon performs about as good here and so you really don't need it at all and you can't say the same for any other troop type no other troop type whether you look at the blazing axe or the staff of the lost these really don't fall in the same caliber as the gatekeeper shield however the purple weapons for archers and also for cavalry do perform really well into the late game okay so it's not that the other troop types don't have a budget friendly weapon in the form of a purple weapon they do it's just more budget friendly to go for infantry as far as a weapons concerned when it comes to weapons i would argue that archers probably have the best weapons here they give you a really solid amount of defense whereas the other troop types are giving you some form of attack right now you know you can make the argument that depending on the distribution of stats you might prefer attack in the late game that's possible but i would say the hydra's blast and you know the dragon's breath bow oh my god they're just so good so much archer defense here i really think that that will move the needle but when we're talking about a value perspective i think infantry wins the weapon department moving on to the helmet the cavalry actually have a blue piece here that works really well into the late game expeditions war helm with the special talent is really quite good and it would be probably about as good as the abyssal visage or is it visage i'm really not sure i'm kind of distracted by the fact that my why is my forehead so shiny anyway this blue piece for cavalry is just really really good infantry does not have a great budget friendly piece here the witch's lineage is trash the revival helm for archer defense is fine and yes archers do have a four piece revival set which will give you more stats from a you know as as a purple piece but again we're talking late game season of conquest here which means that archer equipment is going to be easier to obtain in the early to mid game but once you get the late game you really can't rely on a full revival set anymore unfortunately so that does kind of suck now from a legendary perspective i think infantry and cavalry are tied here with archers coming in second or i guess third place but from a purely budget build i think cavalry wins the helmet department we're looking at the chest pieces here well of course infantry doesn't really have anything great we have the set piece for archers but it does give archer attack which is gonna make the argument that archers really love attack in some perspectives but really the star of the show here is the dark lord's blessing i think this is a really nice budget piece for the chest for cavalry but we also have to consider a couple of other pieces here because really infantry's best in slot is the hope cloak and you can get this from your crystal keys right that's really quite impressive the fact that literally the tavern can get you your best in slot piece for infantry i've gotten tons of these over the years of playing the game very solid piece here you can't say the same for cavalry you could make the argument for archers though i think that some players are finding really good use out of the milky way which is also a piece that you can get from the tavern tons of archer health here which is incredible it's literally the same stat as the set piece so while i don't think the milky way is best in slot for archers i think it's very close and so it's worth noting whereas the hope cloak is best in slot while calves have a really solid purple piece so i would say that Cavs and infantry kind of get the get the tie here i think both of them have a great piece that is very free to play friendly the hope cloak will age much better obviously than the dark lord's blessing but you can use dark lord's blessing for quite a while also the infantry players won't have to really worry about getting the iconic level higher on their hope cloak past three iconic three for hope cloak is pretty much the end you don't like you're not going to be rallying or garrisoning or anything like that if you're a free-to-play player you can like make the argument that like if you're going to swarm down an enemy rally this would be nice but as a free-to-play player you probably shouldn't be doing that okay so yeah hope cloak is just much cheaper here from an iconic upgrade perspective because you can stop at three which i really really like so i'm going to give the edge here slightly to infantry because while cavalry do have a nice chest piece in the purple tier it it you know purples really aren't as great as they used to be unfortunately 
unfortunately even though you can use this for a while moving on to the gloves i think all of the different troop types have decent uh gloves that they can use of course the archers being the revival set you can use that the infantry have the purple gloves here which is nice and the cavalry have a really nice is that sufferance here so all the gloves are pretty cheap and affordable for all troop types however you also have to keep in mind that the best in slot for cavalry is navarre's control right and this is a piece that you can get again from the tavern which makes this free to play friendly and i got you know some a little bit of pushback actually recently talking about how like oh like these these tavern pieces are so easy to get they're not easy to get but with time you will get them eventually for free whereas you actually kind of have to work to get the set pieces right typically you'll have to spend gems on certain events to get your hands on these whereas you can just get lucky and get some of the tavern key legendaries and the fact that navarre's control is best in slot that's really nice but you could also make the argument just like with the milky way for archers that ian's choice is adjacent to best in slot it isn't best in slot but it's close and so i do think archers at least should get a little bit of a head nod here but in general i think that cavalry will win the gloves department from a free-to-play perspective when we're looking at the leg pieces here i think everyone knows karak's humility is insanely good the talented karak's humility is as good if not better than the vanilla eternal knight which i think is very promising for infantry that makes this extremely free to play friendly from an infantry perspective obviously archers we love the revival greaves and the uh, gladiator piece here for calves also incredible this is basically karak's humility for cavalry so it's very very good so all troop types have a free to play friendly option here which is nice and then when you move forward into the legendary tier well everyone knows that eternal light is eventually the best in slots uh for infantry and ash of the dawn is eventually best in slots for cavalry once we start to get the iconic levels up for these guys and so both of these um are very free to play friendly although i would argue that the eternal light is more free to play friendly because you can get this from the lost canyon shop so every kvk you are guaranteed to have an ability to get some of these whereas ash of the dawn it will eventually show up for free for you from the tavern but there's no like guaranteed way to do it so i think in the legendary sense infantry wins here especially because of how good karak's humility is but cavalry are really really close in second place they're really close they have great choices here as well and then finally we move on to the boots category and this you know cavalry kind of loses here i'm going to explain in just a second but from a purple perspective the frost treads and the flame treads are both very viable options for archers and for infantry you can use these for quite a while unfortunately the best in slot for all troop types is probably going to be a set piece whether you have the sturdy boots of the eternal empire the boots of the hellish wasteland the dragon's breath boots or if you really wanted to go for like the greaves of the glorious goddess as an argument for archers sure but that's still a set piece and so no matter what you do you're looking at a set piece for best in slot but shio's return is adjacent to best in slot i would argue and again just like with eternal light you have a guaranteed way of getting this so i think you know really i think man between the purples like i would say the the archers get a little bit of a, of a of an advantage here from a purple perspective but the infantry have a little bit of an advantage from the legendary perspective all in all i would say that this is i'm probably leaning a little bit more towards infantry here as well even though archers come close so between the shio's return eternal night ash of the dawn and navar's control and also like the hope cloak here oh man i would argue that because calves and infantry both have a blue piece that they can use i think that you could you could argue that they're very very close i think infantry gets a slight advantage here just because of how many pieces you could use that are very easy to obtain but i do think you could also make the argument for cavalry as well i mean they both have some very nice free to play options here man i'm really trying to think about a winner here that way i don't call it a tie like i kind of did for the best uh commanders i think if we're being objective right the fact that you can get the eternal knight and shio's return guaranteed from every kvk lost canyon shop even if it's slow it is the only guaranteed legendaries that you can get here even though the ones from crystal keys are very free to play friendly they're not guaranteed it's always rng so i think because of that and the hope cloak yeah i think i think infantry gets a slight advantage here okay i think they do i'm sure the cav mains are not happy to hear that but i think infantry gets a slight advantage when it comes to how easy is it to build the end game best in slot gear 
for free to play players i think infantry get a slight advantage so we reviewed four categories so far in the video we talked about stats civilization commanders and equipment and the calves won the stats department the archers and infantry won the civilization department the armies i would say were a tie between infantry and calves maybe a slight advantage to one or the other depending on how you want to look at it and then also from an equipment perspective infantry and calves were pretty close i would say infantry get a slight advantage there so at the end of the day we have calves winning a clear category and infantry calves tying for two categories or at least coming very very close debatably close for both and then archers really only winning the civilization category honestly so overall i would say infantry right now might be the best troop type for free-to-play players with cavalry coming like like if infantry gets a 100 out of 100 i would say cavalry is like a 98 out of 100 like it's right there bro it's like right there and you know again you could really make the argument that calves win it just because of the march speed alone right the march speed it really depends on how much you value that if you value march speed more than anything then calves have as good armies as infantry their equipment might be slightly harder to build but they just have more stats right in the form of March speed. So I do think you can make the argument that calves are just as good as infantry, but I think, you know, because infantry, this is honestly, this is probably the best state infantry has ever been in, which is kind of an outlier. When the game first came out, infantry was the best troop type for free to play players. In my opinion, then we had cab dominance for so long, right? And only now with Liute and Gorgo, could we even consider infantry being, you know, fighting for that top spot again. So if we're looking historically, like what is the safest to invest in it would be cavalry what is the best at this exact moment in time probably infantry right probably just slightly slightly infantry but there's a couple of other things to consider okay first of all one thing that i have found and i can only speak from my experience in my you know in my kingdom but you have to remember what resources do these troops actually take obviously they all take a lot of gold but the infantry takes the wood and the food and doesn't use stone at all and if we have a lot of infantry players that means that there's going to be a lot of extra stone floating around and i found in the past that it's pretty common people will be generous with their extra stone in their account so if you're fighting in kvk you run out of resources right there's a good chance people might have some extra stone laying around whereas it might not be the case for food or wood i think food is a very highly sought after resource wood might be a little bit more generous it just depends i think there's less archer players than any other troop type right now that's just my vibe check i don't i don't know that for sure but i suspect that's the case another thing you have to consider is that we're coming up on a new cavalry cycle right and so the reason that inventory might be best to choose right now is because they're a cycle ahead of you know the commanders we have available for cavalry right you know the next cav cycle coming uh, which i predict coming in is coming in may it could be so unbelievably good that it gives them the advantage in the commander department in which case then they definitely are the better choice for free to play players moving from that point onwards right so it's really hard to say and then finally right we know that a new civilization is coming probably in the summer and i think that the devs probably know that calves don't have as good of a choice for open field fighting as the other troop types do right i think they're pretty clear on that and we haven't seen a new cav civilization since arabia and byzantium came into the game which was many years ago i think that was like 2019 that these like early 2019 these came into the game it was like a really long time ago and so i think we're overdue for a cav civilization and so 2024 could be like year of the cavalry guys which is kind of shocking considering cavalry have always been pretty dominant but right at this moment in time i think it's best to be infantry but if you ask me in june or july it might switch clearly in the favor of cavalry because they're so close right now that once they get their next commander release and if they get a new civilization like that could be gg cavalry could be the winner so i guess what i'm trying to say here is that technically right at this moment in time i would say infantry slightly have the advantage but cavalry historically have been the safest investment for free to play and we're right about to see what's coming next for calves and i bet you it's going to be solid right and if it's solid it's probably going to be calves for the rest of 2024 so really it just comes down to you know do you want to gamble on the infantry staying in first place or do you want to you know start to head towards that cavalry direction because in the past they have been open field dominant 
and in the future it looks like they're they're kind of in the prime position to be open field dominant again that's just my two cents guys with that being said if you made it all the way to the end of the video hopefully you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it'll help get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and let me know in the comment section below what you think the best troop type is for free to play players at this moment in time i would love to hear from you guys down there and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and we'll talk to you guys again soon peace